I suppose the pre morning was a was a great day, and we've had a good year. And then winning that big race at Longshore on Saturday was great fun. Really nice group of owners with Master Brewer that won the sales race. So, no, we've had a, a particularly good time, but particularly um, in France. It'd be a close call between the Prix de Diane and uh, the Matron, I think. I mean, it's been a great journey, and um, all credits to John and Jess for, for A, for buying her, and uh, B, for sending us to us, you know. Um, but thankfully, it's worked out really well. Uh, probably have to be, it was only a handicap, but um, our first Royal Ascot winner with Agaterra uh, was a really special day. Um, great for, for Bjorn Nielsen, who bred her as well, and, and uh, it was just a, a great day. And um, She's been a little bit disappointing since then. She was just chinned in a listed race in France, and... Um, things haven't quite gone our way with her since then, uh, but she comes back next year and I, th I think she's still a very good filly and a lot more to give. Um, look, James Garfield obviously would be a highlight considering the journey he's taken us on. Um, you know, he's been a fantastic servant to us throughout last year and this year. And uh, his run in France was, was quite astonishing considering the quality of the field. Uh, it was obviously disappointing at the time to be to be beaten, and you know that will rem remain with me until we break our duck, our Group One duck. But um, you know he he he'd be a highlight for most trainers, and uh, let alone us just starting out. So he's an exceptional horse, and very grateful to him throughout the year. Obviously, Lightning Spear winning the Sussex. Um, you know, it's our only well, it's it's our only sort of domestic Group One. Tapo obviously winning the Pelish early in the season, but you know the the fact that he won a Group One, it was very special. That's a, that's a highlight of a few seasons.